myself dr bhagwan lal kalal assistant professor from department of chemistry ips academy indore today we are going to determine the caffeine content in soft drink by spectrophotometrically here is the objective of our experiment that is determination of caffeine content in soft drink by spectrophotometer for this experiment we required a spectrophotometer quartz cuvette caffeine standards degas soft drink samples methylene chloride separating funnel and element flask with stoppers beaker and tissue papers soft drink you all are very well known about with the soft drinks it is a very common beverage and taken in india all all part of india as well as all over the world what are the main ingredient in soft drink the so most of the soft drink contain carbonated water sugar and caffeine other things include sweeteners carbon dioxide acidulants flavoring agent coloring agent preservative and oxidant oxidants caffeine he it is the structure of chemical structure of caffeine caffeine is chemically nominate as 37 dihydro 137 trimethyl 1h purine 26 di on it is also categorized as a uh, alkaloid why the so, uh, soda makers add the caffeine into uh, soft drink the reason is that caffeine is slightly physiologically addictive substance it wake up you and makes you alert it create an association between the good feeling and the soda that contain the caffeine basically your brain and body associate the soda with drug it contain uh, here the drug is caffeine now the theory of the experiment uh, here we are going to measure the caffeine in soda uh, we are going to measure caffeine spectrophotometrically uh, spectrophotometer as an instrument that absorb the light that passes through a liquid sample uh, the necessary requirement for the measurement is that the sample should absorb light in range 200 to 700 nanometer common organic molecule that contain organ conjugated double bond as caffeine also contained the conjugated double bond it absorb light of wavelength 260 nanometer for measurement purpose first a series of caffeine standard are analyze and beer lambert law is applied to prepare a plot and then caffeine content in unknown sample determined from the plot in the experiment we assume that no other substance absorb the wavelength of 260 nanometer now let no the beer lambert law what is beer lambert law beer law state that uh, absorption of light by a liquid media is proportional to the path length of the absorbing media and the concentration of the liquid mathematically it is denoted as a equal to log i0 upon i2 it equal to epsilon cl where a is the absorption absorbance absorbance here a is the absorbance 
or it is also term as optical density epsilon is molar absorptive coefficient unit is per mole per centimeter c is the concentration of the absorbing media in unit mole per liter or gram per liter t is the transmittance transmittance is the light that transmit after passing through the ab absorbing media here you can see uh, the phenomena of light absorption by a liquid sample you can see that uh, light of i0 intensity is strike to the sample uh, the absorbing molecule that contained by the sample is absorb some part of this incident radiation and remaining unabsorbed radiation is passed through the solution and this uh, transmitted radiation is measured by any detector for the experiment we are going to perform uh, we are going to perform this experiment on on a systronic instrument that is a, a spectrophotometer 118 here is the complete this is the complete instrument uh, you can uh, see different part of this instrument uh, here is the uh, a chamber or a cell that where we place the sample cuvette to determine the absorption of to determine the concentration of uh, caffeine or other material here is a knob you can see uh, by switching this uh, knob we can select the source uh, either uv source or uh, visible source visible light source uh, here it is the a knob by we by pushing or pulling it we can put appropriate sample in front of light source here is the main control unit of the instrument you can see a display here uh, here we can read the uh, absorption or transmittance that is uh, the light absorbed by the absorbing media or light transmitted by the absorbing media here you can see okay uh, we are now going to another image 